Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. For today's video, we're gonna be diving right into the Bitcoin breakout that has happened over the last 24 hours. This is exactly what we needed to see as the dollar has began to sell off, Bitcoin is beginning to break out. Does this mean that we are at a major bottom? Is this our cycle low, or are we still gonna end up seeing one more sell off? We're gonna cover all of this stuff, so make sure you stay all the way to the end so you don't miss out on any of this exciting information I'm about to share with you. If you're new just find this channel always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like comment and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these amazing videos like the one provided for you here so let's jump right into it today Alrighty guys, so here we are taking a look at Bitcoin. We're going to brush up on some of the things I talked about yesterday, mainly being this descending uh, resistance right here. And then we're also going to be covering exactly what needs to happen for Bitcoin to basically prove that the bottom is in. Because we're not out of the clear by any means. We are seeing a nice move, especially a nice move above our 50 day moving average. Now one of the big things that I want you guys to remember here when we're looking at Bitcoin is to keep in mind the reason why Bitcoin is actually rallying is because we are seeing some weakness inside of the dollar. Now, this is the chart that I want you guys to keep in mind of because it's, in my opinion, the most important thing we can look at when it comes to looking at a counter trend for Bitcoin. This was when Bitcoin actually ended up topping at 65 and 69,000. And ever since then, our entire bear market of Bitcoin, the dollar has been rallying up. And this green moving average is our 50-day moving average. And what we've seen is every single time uh, the price has come back down and retested this level, it's basically held as support. There has been moments of time where we've peaked below, but it's always only temporarily, and we've bounced all the way back up and kept trending. And now, as you guys can see, once again, we are right back onto support of this trend line. And one of the things that I was watching was the fact that when we pumped up here, we distanced ourselves pretty far from this trend, right? And when we came back down and held support, we never came all the way back down to actually hit the 50-day uh, moving average. And so I was expecting that at some point we were either going to get overextended and we were going to make one more big wave up to about 120, or we would come back down and retest this moving average. And so far, we're selling back down and we're bouncing off of it once again at about 110. So this is something that is important because if we're going to see this trend shift by Bitcoin, in my opinion, it's most likely going to happen through the dollar. Now, keep in mind, if we go to the shorter time frames and we take a look at this, when it comes to looking at this, it doesn't look very good. On the shorter time frames, even if we bounce up here, we're still going to be closing below support. If we end up getting a bull trap and then we end up correcting back down, in my opinion, that's really where we're going to get some movement inside of the crypto markets. So far, seeing Bitcoin move past this 50-day moving average is a really big sign. So far on the shorter time frames, we're starting to move past some big resistance. This was a pretty important level that I was personally watching for right in here when it comes to our previous highs and even this high up here. Now we could close back within, but it was really these first two highs that I was watching and the prices were somewhere between about 19.5 and about 19.7. And so now that we're outside of these, we're even rallying outside of our top high at about 20,000. And so we could see a little pullback and retest these levels before moving higher. But so far, we're seeing some nice continuation inside of Bitcoin on the short time frames. This on the larger time frames is us moving past the daily 50 day moving average. And so now that we're seeing this, in my opinion, as long as we can hold above this moving average, that's really what's going to prove whether we're going to be bullish or bearish. In the same way that when we're watching the DXY on the daily time frame, we know that as long as we're sitting above the 50-day, this is support, and we should expect to see further highs. But if we can get a close actually below this 50-day, then that's really where we're going to set in a reversal point for Bitcoin. In the exact same way that we were trending below in our last bull market in 2020, this pump right here was COVID, and then this sell-off was our entire 2020 to 2021 bull run. This was our cycle top. And so as we trended below this, Bitcoin was rallying. The second that we flipped and double bottomed here and started to trend above this, Bitcoin has been in its bear market. We need to see the dollar close back below this 50 day if we're gonna actually end up seeing Bitcoin starting to cement a bottom. <clears throat> One of the big questions we all have right now is whether this consolidation is a true bottom or whether this is gonna end up finalizing into some sort of bull trap 
and then we're going to see one more final low. And when it comes to me looking at the chart, what I see inside of Bitcoin, I see two different scenarios here. There's a bullish scenario and there's a bearish scenario, obviously. Now, the bullish, or I should say the bearish scenario, is pretty much just going to be this sort of move in here. This final capitulation for Bitcoin reminds me of what we're seeing today. And if we come over in this side <clears throat> and we draw it, if we were to see something along these lines, in my opinion, it would come in sort of this kind of way, right? Where the move we're having <clears throat> could be somewhat of a final bull trap before we end up selling off. But the fact that all of our volatility has died out and we still kind of have this lower highs formation inside of this consolidation, that tells me that there's equally as much of an opportunity that we could actually sell off in here. Now, keep in mind, guys, that if we did sell off, it wouldn't be unheard of because of the fact this is going to be one of the first times inside a Bitcoin cycle that we didn't bottom in the bottom of capitulation at the end of the year we would have consolidated sideways into the end of the year. And that's not very customary of any of our prior cycles. All of our prior cycles, including the bottom of our last four-year cycle, happened here at the end of the year. This one was December 15th that we actually bottomed all the way. So if we're going to see something stack up similar to more of the four-year cycles, which we could go even all the way back down here into the last one, the bottom of this was January. All of the four-year cycle bottoms so far have actually been at the end of the year. That one, last one was January, this one was December. And so for us to have capitulation in June, it's not really the same that we've been accustomed to seeing in years past. And for us to kind of have this double bottom type formation where June low, was our main capitulation, and then for us to kind of round out sideways here, it's not very customary of our prior cycles. And so I don't think that we should um, be giving it too much faith. In my opinion, it's really 50-50. And that's why I'm watching the 50-day moving average. Um, if we can hold support above this, that's really what it's going to prove, in my opinion, in the same way that the dollar is going to have to prove whether this is going to be support or whether this is going to be resistance in here. So those are the main things that I'm watching for. If the dollar can close below, then that's really what's going to set it in for Bitcoin. But I mean, I could easily see this end up being something similar to kind of the capitulation that we saw in our last bear market in 2018, when Bitcoin just went sideways, all the volatility died out, and then we just kind of sold off for one more major low. Keep in mind, guys, that this Bitcoin cycle corrected about 83, 84% about 84 and a half percent. And this one is only at 74% from the high to the low that we saw in June. So if we did see a move closer to 84%, that would be down to about 10, 11 K Bitcoin. 80% um, would be about 13 K. And so that's just the potential that if we see one more final capitulation, and I'm definitely not writing off this potential, I could definitely see it happening. Um, but the potential that uh, the other potential that I see equally as much, like I've stated, it all revolves around what happens with the dollar and this 50-day moving average. If we stay below the 50-day and we continue to close below and any attempt of a breakout gets stuffed and we continue to close lower, then we're ultimately going to see Bitcoin continue to drop lower in its cycle. But if we can actually see Bitcoin move above it and we cement more of a bottom that is kind of similar to what we saw back in 2018 as well, but it happened after our capitulation from that same level we just talked about. If that is more of what we're talking about inside of this consolidation, which I can definitely see either or, and when we kind of pull both of these over here, you guys can definitely get the idea of what I mean. Um, Bitcoin kind of rallied back up and we went back above the 50 day and we consolidated above the 50 day. And so that's why I keep drawing this 50 day and I'm trying to get it through you guys' heads that this is going to be an important level that we're going to need to watch out for because that's ultimately going to kind of paint the direction that Bitcoin's going to take. If we get above the 50-day and we see the 50-day kind of trend up through here like this and we continue to hold support above it, that's what's going to prove that the bottom is ultimately in. But in the same way that if we can't actually get something like that to play out and we only end up closing below this 50-day, then we're ultimately going to end up seeing another capitulation that um, would take us into more of a November, December type of range low that would be, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13K. I'm not going to try and predict a price because it doesn't really matter. All we're looking at here is the potential of either one more low or that the bottom is in. With us moving above the 50 day in the shorter time frames, this is exactly what we wanted to see for the bulls. Um, now, the last real hurdle for the bulls is going to be this previous range high. I'm going to draw it at about 24,300. If the bulls can actually hold above this, 
we can get above the 50 day, hold support above this, <clears throat> and we can make another attempt at actually getting above this previous level here, 24,300. That's the confirmation of a double bottom formation, and that would be the reversal of our entire downtrend. And so we really are watching two different scenarios. Either the bottom is already in, and we're just going to kind of consolidate into the next four-year cycle low, or we're going to get one more final capitulation that's going to take us to sub $14,000 would be my guess. Either way, guys, this is what I'm watching for. Um, one of the final things I want to talk to you guys about before we wrap up this video is the 200-day moving average. This is another really important level that I'm watching for because not only is it converging with the previous all-time high of our last cycle, not only have we just retested that previous high <clears throat> being in June when we had our capitulation, but now we're consolidating above this 200-day moving average, and this is going to be another level that I'm watching that's going to be paired with this 50-day moving average and the uh, DXY. What we're seeing here is us kind of consolidating above it. Uh, the price is starting to kind of move back above, and if we can hold above and hold support like this and get a bullish support resistance flip right here, then that's going to set us in for reversal. That's where we would ultimately see Bitcoin do this type of a move, cement the double bottom formation, and we would expect to see that the DXY would you know, sell off, this would become resistance, and then we would begin our next downtrend. Because if we're looking at the DXY on our larger time frames, and just the long-term history of the DXY as well, what we're seeing right now is a long-term one, two, three, four, and we're working on our final fifth wave inside of this impulse. All right, if, if I actually pulled up the DXY on this chart, you would guys would actually be able to see it a little bit better. Long-term, we're in a downtrend. Lower lows, lower highs, all the way through. And we can see that right here by this trend. Now, one of the big things that we're watching for is the fact that what we've completed is three waves up. One, two, three, four, and we're working on wave five. I'm not saying that this can't peak above a little higher. Like I've stated many times over, it all revolves around the 50-day moving average. Um, but with that being said, we are looking at a big picture cycle top that's going to be playing out in the dollar. And it makes sense considering our, lar uh, our large picture has been in a big picture downtrend. So what we're seeing right now is looking at a major cycle top major cycle top in sort of crypto you know we would expect to see bitcoin and crypto start to pick up as well and that's kind of what i'm watching for as far as the short term with crypto and bitcoin bitcoin has the opportunity to cement the bottom here we need to see what happens with the 50-day moving average bullish above bearish below it in the same way that it kind of played out here in our last bear market so anyways guys if you found value in this leave a like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell as well if you guys want to join the discord server download my free ebook links are in the description for that if you guys want to sign up for my signals follow all the trades that i take over this next cycle see what all the picks are that i'm going to be running into with my investments my portfolio and things like that links are in the description to go ahead and sign up on my website thank you guys so much for the support and with that being said i will catch you in the next one as always peace out